Hello there, Scott with Scott's Montana Adventures. That is a picture of the newest project, a 1965 Mustang Coupe. We bought it online and it was just pieces and parts, just about three quarters of a shell. Came with a TCI rear torque tubed suspension and it was in primer. The guy had done, or he had sandblasted it. The guy had done some work to it. Uh, he put floors in it. We decided to take this project on uh, and in the next year or so we'll keep you updated. But I'll, uh, I'll do this video so that you can see where it is at this point here. It's mm, November 1st, 2023. It has uh, am amazing suspension parts for this TCI suspension, coilover shocks. Torque, that's the torque tube setup right there. It's amazing, but it's got to be installed still. Everything was temporary. No quarter panels. Nothing. But the front end had been prepped for this TCI front suspension. So uh, let me uh, get some more video on here and some more pictures for you to see. There'll be a lot coming up. There's the floor. He did a great job. He really did pay attention to detail. We'll be back. Well, we got it home and uh, had to get the quarter panels done, so off it went to J&K Customs. This is the uh, core support head um, hood and the trunk lid we put on, and then it went down to uh, J&K Customs in Missoula. For quarter panels so that's coming up here next and we'll show you a little video but there's the quarter panel and ready to go here we go loading up to take it to body and paint it's on a stand you can see with the wheels She's in there. All right, the car's gone down to bait and body. And now there's the motor that came with the car. I decided to go to Spokane and meet a guy I bought a 351 Windsor from because they said, don't put that small block in there, put the bigger one in. So I put a, I bought the 351 and then I'm going through it. It had been recently dynoed, but I wanted to put a serpentine kit on it. So I did that. And here we are delivering the car to Bob. For paint and body, in the meantime, he's got the TCI front suspension welded in. My wife has got all the rear suspension painted. She's working her hiney off on this stuff. Bless her heart. So what are we doing here? Sand blasting. Sand blasting? And what are you sandblasting? You're taking... Just getting the paint off the winch, the uh, headlight bezels. Oh. 
So they can be painted next week. Nice. The sandblasting cabinet really helps. And you don't have to worry about the mess. It just gets vacuumed up. And then you can use, reuse the sand. Look at his system that he set up. He's quite the clever guy. Look at this. So this is the vacuum. And then all this material goes from the vacuum into this bucket. And you can reuse material. Pretty neat. Very nice. Now you're hearing the the compressor. Great job in setting this up. He even put a light up in there because it was super dark. Now we can see. Yeah, I can see well. Nice. Great job. And you not have to breathe this either. something else he did. Oh, where did you put him, honey? They're over here. We're going over here. He sandblasted those. Pretty good. Pretty good. painting the car underneath the TCI front suspension, the cross member there. He's got the interior part of it done. The bodywork on the outside is done. He's painted it inside now. And there it is finished. He called and said the car is done. Unbelievable. There's the seats. That's the way they look when we got them. And now they're in the living room. <laughs> we'll get back with you here shortly. Well, taking a little video here of the 1965 Mustang Caspian Blue that my husband, Scott Bombard, is building. Uh, it's quite the day because we are working on the rear end. We have to have some things done outside of our us. Um, such as well, certain welding things have to be done by professionals. And we also had the paint job done by Bob Block, who did a fantastic job. We're very pleased with it. And it, uh, again, it's Caspian Blue, the color we really wanted, um, including right here in the dash. We wanted the dash to be Caspian Blue down in there. And then you can see the floorboards. All welded together beautifully. Uh, you can just kind of get a feel for this. This is completely a shell of a vehicle. It has a TCI suspension um, that we're working on. My husband's going to build that uh, into the vehicle. And he's literally going to build this vehicle from this point on, other than if there's something welding. The engine sitting right here. He's been doing a really great job. Decided to put it into a serpentine kind of situation. And it's a 351 engine. And then we have the transmission down here, as you can see. So lots has to be done right down to the wiring. I mean, look at the doors. I mean, they're shells. You gotta do the inside mechanisms and door handles and window handles and locks. And so many things have to be done before this becomes completely viable but right now we're pretty pleased with where it is been working on buying all the parts and things like that uh, I mean since May I mean it's been month many 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 hours uh, we've inventoried everything um, uh, we have them in tubs which I'll show you here in just a sec we also have quite a few parts in that chicken shed we had to move things around so we can make it a parts shed and uh, now for the tubs so these are the tubs 
Each one has a tote number on it. And they all, everything that's in it inventory wise works back to this, the actual inventory. So each one has a tote number and this describes what's in that tote. Like that's tote number one and what's in it, tote number three. Every tote says what's in that tote. So everything's organized when it's coming to time to look for that part, literally hundreds of parts. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention in all the professional things, J and K Custom did some of the was well, the welding, um, the tack welding, some permanent welding um, to the vehicle when it was in its very raw form, because really it was down to the metal. And uh, and like I said, Bob Locke did paint paint job, and he did some other you know just sanding and body work as well. Anyway, other than that, from this pretty much point on, my husband's got the build part, and it's a good thing that he likes a puzzle and a challenge. <laughs> so <laughs> if you don't like a puzzle, don't build a vehicle, I guess is what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, more to come as he, the build goes on, but right now this is where we're at. Take care, all. Bye. Okay. Well, thanks, honey. Appreciate that. She did that all on her own. Anyway, there's the car. That's where it's at. It's painted. It's back home. Remember where this came from, folks, from that to where it is now. Thanks for watching Scott's Montana Adventures, and we'll be in touch. Keep the videos going and update. Mm -hmm.